Thank you. Welcome back, Mr. Sala. Mr. Sala, you are a lot. Before the break, you were telling us uh, about your encounter with the NIA. Balang don dem si break biang you don't wah linga ham ne mo heu sedigante agwa NIA. Could you take it from there and tell us what happened after that? Legi na din komuna jele fu fu na wah nyoga na abu bulan mo heu. You are telling us about your conversation with this officer who was telling you that you had refused to accept that you are selling cannabis with Pamani. Yang you don't need to tell me that what time you have to move to the other office, you have to have to move to the other office. You have to move to the other office. Please go ahead. Wow. Yes. When I was at the NIA, around three up to four, and after I spoke with him, he said, your case, you are going to be picked up. I asked, who are those? And he said, headquarters. Police station. Okay. I said, well, that was where I left to come here. He said, okay, sit down for a little while and wait. That was when I sat down. Into 15 minutes. Within 15 minutes, he said to me, get up, let's, let's go. That NIA officer at the NIA office were you interviewed at the NIA office at all banga nek ci NIA office bi na amna ay laaj ca yo xamne am nga ko sa digante ñom laaj ca buñu ma laaj ca moy ne the question i was asked was that ñu ne yo ak pamane da ngeen de jaay tay that you and pamane you sell drugs na ko de det i said no est ce que yo mus nga ma japp ak tay I said to him, have you once caught me with drugs? He said to me, no. I said to him, do you know me of uh, know me being a drug dealer? He said, no. He said, but your boy that died, he usually sells drugs. I said, that is between you and him. He said to me, bro, we all know how. I said, how? He said, you are not willing to talk. I said to him, I am tired of talking. Whatever you want to do, do it. I am waiting for you. Apart from that interview, did you have any other interview at the NIA? Never. And for how long did you stay at the NIA? You ban up a dear nga talk for fuji NIA. Hopefully, I want between three to four mangfa. That is what I said. Between three and four, I was there. The afternoon. And what happened after that? Land mo hell gana lulu. Mu yabu ma. He took me to the police headquarters. To the police headquarters. He took me to the Banyal headquarters, the police headquarters. Mu yabu mo si drug squad be si kau. Took me upstairs at the drug squad office when i arrived i office drug squad i sat down talk with them no musa my name you called out to me musa and i responded yes you are not you are refusing to speak do you want to go into prison and I said, prison. Anyone that is supposed to go in there will go in there. One that is not supposed to go in would not go in. I said, it's up to you. He said to the other officer, tell him. 
He said to the other officer, take him to the cell. He said to him, but before you take him to the cell, I said to him, before you take me to the uh, cell, buy me some food to eat. No, what? Butter. He said, yes, I'll buy you bread and butter. Watch him as he They took me downstairs. In the Masigana counter, the police station. They took me to the police station behind the counter. We got the cow. One officer be. The officer went upstairs again. Watch out. He came down again. What police officer be? Spoke to the police officer. No, go do that case cell be. And told him to put me into the cell. We no go your key. He said to him, this guy. He shot. Was shot. Under dress. And he is going for his dressing. What impact is his problem? He said, My boss said that you should put him inside the cell. Okay. He said to him, Okay. He asked me, What do you have in your pocket? I said, Nothing. I have nothing. Where you okay. put in the cell? I was put inside the cell. Were you given any food to eat? He brought bread, butter, and butter. He gave it to me and I put it on top of the plank. Of wood. I met people there. And they said to me, You are not supposed to be here. You were shot. These are wizards. Why would they not allow you to stay behind the counter or even go home? And I said to them, Well, this is what God I said to them, Well, this is what God destines. I said to them, Just allow me to persevere and wait, on, wait for them. So, there was one individual inside the cell. Called Alaji, he said to me, Come and lie down here. And, and, and relax, and he gave me space. I sat. For how the, long were you in that cell? One night, I spent a night. And then what happened the next day? Subasi. In the morning, they came to pick me up. They took me upstairs. La pega for my sister. That was where I met my sister, Madame Jain. Madame Jain. She said to me, "Where did you spend the night inside the cell?" And I said to her, "Yes." She said, "These people are wicked." I said, "How else can we?" Do? I don't know what they are ready for. Uh, Mr. 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 Salah, wow. let's uh, summarize the conversations. Yeah. You know, and, and make this testimony quick. We need to make for, make yeah. for we need to forge ahead. Huh? Um, we need to uh, complete this soon. So you think correct? What are you neka chidi gante bi? We could have new lal finga ham ne pufu ne wala lal na new what are you muna gawa je? Why was your sister at the police station? Lan mo tax sa jigen bine kon police station. Because bala ma France police bala ma France police bi. Before I spent the night at the police, I called her. I told her I have been released, but I am at the police station. I have been discharged this from time. the hospital, but yeah. I am now at the police station. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Proceed, please. That was why she came there in the morning. Did she want anything for you while she was at the police? She came to visit me and also find out what happened. I said, well, talk to them. She spoke to the boss of the drug squad. And he asked her if she had any ID card. So that we could release him to go home. My sister told them, yes, I have an ID card. Photocopy ID card B. They photocopied the ID card. Belma. And then she billed me. We then I asked them, when will I report? They told me to go and relax until after one week. 
Monday and your report. On Monday you come back and report. One week when you report. That was how I went, relaxed for a week, and on Monday I came to report. When I come, I go and uh, dress my wound and then go and report. Another one week. Said to me, go sit down for another one week. I said, I said to him, sir, if you are going to help me, please help me. Because I don't have the fears to be going up and down for this reporting. You know what, Demal, so anyway, next week, you know, not just self bear, but I'll hide the card. He said to me, well, go. When you come back next week, I'll give you a self bear. I went, I went. No, madam, I was my sister, 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 I I told my sister that uh, this guy said when I go back on Monday, he will give me the card, but that he needed money. No. He said, I asked her money how much, for what? And he said, it's for the bill so that they can release you. He said, maybe if we had about 5,000. He said, maybe if we had about 5,000. I said to her, I don't have that kind of money. If they have to release me, let them release me. And if they have to take me to court, let them take me do to you, court. Do you know the name of the police officer who was asking for this money? How many police bobo nga hamne mo don like the halis be? Turam. Police bobo no no. Nga no oye pate. They used to call him Pate. Kunyulani. He's a dark in complexion. Was that money he was asking for to go to the government or was it for something else? Alis Bobo Mule Munan don't lie. Daf Kojel Dugal Kochike Singurgi Walla Purlenella. Mom Lungwa Mwene. What he said was that Mune Singoje Halis B. That if we give him that money, case file B. The case file of Kojel. He will take it and burn it. Because he said to him to burn a case file where everything I said was actually the truth. Mr. Musa Sala, yes, sir. you are on the earth. And this is very important. Speak absolutely the truth. Musa Sala, danga wade. I will tell you only the more truth. Face, more, more more. In essence, you are telling the commission that this police officer called Pate was asking for a five thousand dollars bribe yeah. so that he would destroy this file. Yeah. commission be Police officer B in your oye party. That don't like the Jerome Junich yo, because of a mom, ya ha case be. That's your testimony. You know, look at you. You are under oath. Dangawad. Wow. And yes. that is the absolute truth. Tell you, look at the Gaburi. The Gaburi Nanya Billahi will have come in. Absolute truth. Did you get to pay the money? Fayanga Halis. Fayama Halis. I did not pay the money. What happened? Nuta. I did not have the money. That's what I told him. I did not have the money. 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 I did He said, well, then I will keep the file, and once you pay the money, I will destroy it. And I told him, I don't have the money. I did not have the money. not just my sister ID card. And then that was when he gave my sister her ID card. So you never got to pay the bribe in the end. But Up till, till now. now. Up till now. Did you did you were you required to to keep reporting to the police? Now how many years did you continue to report to police? The matter I never went. Did the police ever come back to you? No. The police in your ward, many many on put jail cell. No one. They did not come. While you were at the police, were you forced to do anything? Force 
I was not forced to do anything. Mui 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 wada mui pate bobo rek mama abu yobo si beren office mune ma so mo joheli sa case five na kore mene ho case five na kong kore. Only that uh, this party I am telling you who took me upstairs and told me if you give me this much I will destroy this file and I asked him how are you going to destroy that case file? Uh, uh, case be dina kore. I will meaning I will bring an end to this case. Yes. And to do that, he was going to burn the case file so that nobody would set eyes on the case file again. Do you know what? Correct. Good. As far as you know, was that normal in the police? Yo, yo, just a while, ham, ham. That little dinner done for all the empty police, be. Then the light, no, no, do come over. Then for all the empty police. Well, because this cell woman is gone. In the cell that I was in. There was someone who was caught with drugs. And that day that I was put inside there, he was the one they brought out. They took him upstairs. They brought him back into the cell again. I listened to what he was saying. He said that he was being asked to pay 150,000 so that the case would be withdrawn. And I asked him, what did they catch you with? He said five kilos. I said five kilos for 150,000. I would rather buy a house and uh, go into prison I said to him, if this was me, I would not pay. Because if you pay, they will not take it into the state coffers. They will put it into uh, their pockets. Mr. Salah, you are alleging massive corruption on the part of the drug squad of the Gambia Police Force. Yes. Are you aware of that? Mr. Yes. Salah, I'm going to say that drug squad Up till date, it's happening. That is happening up till date. How do you know that? They used to come at Kololi, arrest people, and stand by the corner, take money from them, and leave them. Then Jan, yo, jap I need, ak I sini abar yo hamne dah jan koti ye, bukore fe dah nyota hawa nyomrek, lah jan halis nyu fail nyu bail nyu dem. Dah nyu lah ho nyomrek. Lah ho mumni rek. Fila lati ngat hawa ni rek. They just go take cover with them and get the bribes and release them. As a citizen, how do you see that? Yo kom yo domi reuminga, nak angi se lulu. Lulu warna am? That should not be. And that's your testimony. Wow. Yes. Okay. So you were ultimately released by the police. You did not have to report again. So what did you do with your life from there onwards? Well, police I sat down. And uh, thought things over in my mind about my life because I was alone one hundred one what I was unable to do before I am unable to do now I said to myself what must I do now photographer as a photographer Danuna that business uh, collapsed photography has yeah. gone down yeah in page now Okay, Safedin was closed. So, photography man, I see no way out of. Why was that the case? Photography. Lulu, what are Lulu? System bunyo esla. Moi funi digitali yeren funi gena. Pumne kenso bage sinab nisa punga amgente program sa. Dafa hard. The. Taka o married o buff dira de hard. Raga sa ninja sen on camera de sinab. The arrival of the new phones. Uh, that uh, had cameras made it difficult for us to have business so there was no opportunity for marriages and uh, uh, naming ceremonies uh, photography for those uh, programs but once your wound had healed 
Were you suffering from any other pain? Ganau busa ganyu ganyu go guere na. Nada fa amyene miti tio hamne ya mungla dondal. Wa mo mo fit ma jamne rek. That is where I was shot. I miss ya debla mode sonal. It usually disturbs me during the cold season. How? Naka. De pain. De jeke jeke rek nuram kom dang ma jam si ganau. It used to pain. You you feel sharp pains as if I'm, I'm being no. stabbed from the back. Mother bend down low. For most agony, you must not see. I it used to make me to slouch. To slouch, I am unable to stand up straight. Your last month, what did happen? And that happened just last month. Does it? Madam Belasa, you Madam Belasa, tell us how you made the blue tie. You have been doing so much for the project. You have been doing so much for and those that assisted me that day to help me to lie on the veranda are the listening guy, to me today. Guy, do all my for the, you know, sumaga naugi. And they they rubbed some ointment. Massaged. Yes, massaged some ointment on my back. You know, my daughter is lapita. And they said to me, "Won't you go to the hospital?" And them not lapita, but so no. I said to them, "I have been to the hospital and I am tired." But uh, does it have any effect on your leg, on your hand? Nah, am na bencon natural nak kisah lo hobi, benja fe jafe. Oh berlek lah, luar ni mama dia te, luar ni mana yang kata lu dis. That is the only thing. That is what used to disturb me. I'm unable to carry any heavy weight. How frequently does this happen to you? Li nak kalau ada faral di dale. I mean sedal mama dia dal. It used to. Om sedal bersu sedal dega 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 ni. Attract me during the cold season. No more what I do for fun on forete. I'm going to eat, you know, aboniki. I'm going to forete la butanga. There's an ointment, a very strong ointment, which I used to. Sumoka do you smoke an hour? Can you act smoke far be? Massage. Smoke side be ni. Then the be ni. You play the deal. On my back. No, the mother muna knocky. So. The mother, the mother feel pain. We see. I used to feel pain. 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 What did you do with your life? This was in February 2001, uh, when you were sought by the junglers. Uh, you were released uh, from hospital, discharged from hospital in, in, in April or there. What did you do with your life thereafter? Junglers, I was in February 2001, in 2001. Yang tu on be very April sila ni lah bayi. Gana April boh bunak. Langga don def. Nama dia Uti Ligai. I went to look for work. Ni kau muna jadi pelajar semua bapa. So that I'll be able to assist myself. Ela def manyo kololi. By God's grace, I came to kololi. Ma feka pas semua bena bro kunjuah modu bayi. And met one of my brothers called Murubaji. He has a bar and restaurant. He has a bar and restaurant. And which year was that? Ban It was 2007. Uh, but we want to know what happened between 2001 and 2007. What did you do with your life during that period? Then you go ham digante atum 2001. Be atum 2007. Chidi gante bobo Lord on def. Def mo ntera mangi deko na aksuma. Sister Adam Jain. I did nothing. I was living with my sister Adam Jain. Mama yore won. Mama dejo any. Mama dejo rare. Mama dejo ndeki. I was under her. She gave me breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Did you look for work during that period? Jamano jojo na hayang don utligay. Utuman ligay. I did not look for any work. Did you have a side hustle? Dah amon na dara lo don defti pegabi. Dara. Nchi am dara. Nothing. Mama dara. I did nothing. Any pushing? Na am am na lenen loron def chiwali jai sinai barik yumel nunu. Oh, yah lah am na def madara 
Adam is God knows. Some talk the matter glue tie. Cook mama yore. God knows I did nothing. Mama ne madanga am put talk. Adam who had me is listening to me today, and she said to me, "You have to sit down." Ne ko wande muno ma talk ni rebo fau. And I said to her, "I cannot sit down just like this forever." But you did for six years. Why talk nga jurom bene at de fulo dara. Wow, you know, I talk now. Yes, I sat them, down for the six years. Legally, Madam Tanje. But once in a while, I would go to Tanje. Do go see Gali. Once in a while, I would go join the boats. Madam Andaga in the pocket journey. Go with the fishermen, going to see. Sunjape Jen Sunjai, Ma Amhalis, Tuti. After the catch and uh, the selling, I get a little bit of money. Lola Neka one for Hunono, but 2007. That was what I was doing up to 2007. So tell us when you uh, what happened when you went to Kololi to to Mr. Baji. Wax ñu nak lan mo xew ba nga deme Kololi ci Mr. Baji. Bu ma ñëwé Kololi when I came to Kololi I guess brother I saw brother Odo Baji Odo Baji ko dama odu liggey I said to him I am looking for work. Mu ne ma hay xana camera be nak mëno camera be baye nako. He said to me what has happened with the camera? I said I have left the camera. Mu ne ma You can work here. He asked me if I could work here. I asked him what kind of work. He said after the customers have uh, drunk their uh, drunk the bot- empty bottles, I wanted to pack them and uh, clean the tables. Uh, what kind of business was Mr. Baji in? Bar and restaurant. Mr. Baji, mom, land ban ligay la ne kon ban pasong. Bar and restaurant. So, 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 what kind of bottles was he talking about? Bottle. You know, we have never done that. You know, we have never done that. 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 I took the job, but on condition. What was the condition? I said, well, frankly speaking, I'm Muslim. If I am to drink alcohol, I never drink uh, alcohol, sorry. And I, if I am to be packing empty bottles of alcohol, He said, "Well, that is the only thing that you can do, and I will be paying you." I asked him, "How much would you pay me for a month?" He said, "I will pay you 800." You never drank alcohol before this time. Musulo nan sangara balabu. He did. No. And by the time you left his job, you graduated into a drinker, did you? Yes. Balanga bay ligey bi nak mom nga far nak nek mandikat lola. Wow. Yes. Mandikat ak nan kat du bere de. Hej na mom da ko na ne mandikat la won. No, mom ko waye rek. No, just the way she put it. Okay. All right. So you took the job and uh, in doing that job Did you, at any point in time, later come to learn about who shot you? E chi jama no yo yo nak nda mu yo nga ham nak kan mo la fetelon. Wa jama no malige kawo si babi. When I was working at the bar, sila nyom sana manjang akurombi. That was when sana manjang and his crew when they knew they usually. Came there. Give us names. Wahnyo Tumi. Manjang, Noah Baji, Korea. Which Korea? Michael Korea. Proceed. I'm Fansu Nyabali. Nyabali. No. I crew in Dal. It, it was a crew. They were men. Some legal legal young twelve, legal legal young fifteen, legal legal young twenty. Nyari auto. Sometimes they came in twelve in number. Sometimes fifteen. Sometimes twenty. And in two. Tell us how they would normally dress. Wah, nyusunyo nyu nakalenge faral di solo. Legal legal black black. 
Sometimes they came in dressed in black, black. Black uniform, come you paramilitary. They have black uniforms, just as the ones worn by the paramilitary. At that time, they were a black scorpion. At that time, they were called the black scorpions. They were White House, Kololi. They were resident at the White House in Kololi. So what would happen when they come to your bar? Then they know the nun. They used to come to drink and to and smoke. Smoke what? I. Lan len de to. Cannabis. I will wear that type with you. Yamba bu fonyi bi. The cannabis from fonyi. Okay. And what else? Nan sangara. Drink alcohol. Tell us on a typical day, what would happen when they come to your bar? Wah nyona bufe kene nyom nyom nchi babi bes bunyo we land more they help. Party more they help. A party usually happens. Give us details. Wah nyona kala party be there men. Sunja hame. If they know you, ganan sangara. You you drink alcohol. Atu tai. You smoke weed. With non soft, with non soft drink. You smoke, you not, sorry, and, and eating. What would they provide, if any? I mean, bam, ray, bam. If they have a pig, they will slaughter. Yeah. They have grill and grill it. Sometimes they buy fish. How about how about money? Tell us about that. Naka halis nak wahnyu. Halis do nyoko de indi. Mane ham naka lengo ame. Well, the money, they usually brought it along, and I don't know how they acquired it. Do they flaunt it? Do they sew it off? No, they don't know how they sew it off. No, they don't know how they sew it off. No, they don't know how they sew it off. No, they don't know how they sew it off. No, once they come, we usually know that the party has started. So, if you put it in the bill, you don't know how they get a packet of fire, or you don't know how they get a fire. And when they were done, as for the bill, is either Sangam Manjang will remove money and pay, or Nua Baji will pay. Packet of what? Packet of land. Halis ke kuge ne ne ke ngan hamen ke li packet la. Kute halis ni ke. Money when once brought out money like this, you know that is money. We want to understand. Dollars ebi, dollars ebi. Come like ten thousand of what? The dollars ebi, just like ten thousand. Because what I used to see was almost 10,000. Each time they are paying the bill, I used to see the packet. And this is something that would happen each time they come there. Weekend time, they come during the weekends. Working time, they come. And they also come during the work days. They come two times. Three times. In a week, they may come twice or three times. And uh, but you said even during working hours, wouldn't they normally go to work? No, no. Ngane besi ligei sa leg leg nyu nyu fa hana nyom dunyu ligei. When you say only ligei, then I'm a fuck nade. Those people, I think they have their own work. Kendulen disturb. Nobody disturbs them. What do you mean by that? Help us understand uh, this group, how they operate it. Like, if I should tell you now, it's like when they came to the car wash, they tell people to smoke. They just tell people to smoke. Any smoke officer what? come here, we fuck him up. <laughs> smoke what? Ganja. <laughs> So whenever they were present, Ganya was legalized. Free. <laughs> and what did they say if people were to come there? You don't know who the drug squad is. You don't know who the drug squad is. They know who the junglers are. No, very well. And what did they say would happen if anyone were to come there? If they came there, they would beat them up. They came Very seriously. In my presence, and I'm they were severely beaten. And they know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. And they chased them outside. You mean that the junglers beat them up, the members of the drug squad? The junglers beat them up, the members of the drug squad. They beat them up, they beat them up, they beat them up, they beat them up, they beat them up. Uncle, I, I, saw that, I saw that with my own eyes. It's, 
It's not hearsay. I saw it with my own eyes. Did the police come to arrest them? Police in your name for arrest them. They are not even mad. What do you mean by that? Lo teki si lo lo bone do funsa. Nyonyo si nyonyo nyom nyonyo re kom nyom nyonyo do me ya jame. When they came, they behaved as if they were ya jamen's own sons. So lo nyonyo bahare nyonyo lo njere def. And whatever they said was what we did. When they came, were they normal people? Did they act normal? Bunje nyonyo denje ne ka ainit nyonyo ham ne nyonyo anda sensa go. Ha denje happy de. They are usually happy. Did they, did they carry any weapon? Then they am a gunner. To be careful, they are am gunner. RPG, low halat muzi orabi. The vehicles had all sorts of weapons, RPGs, anything you think AK of. AK-47, pistol, grenade, yepo fanel. AK-47, pistols. Low halat pel, pickers, yep, marro, yep. Shovels, pickaxes, wow. all of that. The home and alone for landla. I don't know what that was for. Landla na rona la chidi. I was going to ask you what those were for. El Picas Marto. What would that be used for? Pel yek Picas yek Marto ye yo yo epki moto bi luñ ko doy dawé. After jamono ñom buñ dawé lañ xamna lu xew. It was after they ran away that uh, we came to know what that was for. But how frequently would you see these implements in their vehicles? Naka nga dey faral dey gisé ñu amé ganna yu bari yo yep sen moto bi. Because the people who are in the black scorpion, so I'm going to talk to them about the names of the people. It's because of the names they gave them, jungler, black scorpion, so I thought they were the people of the people. How would you normally feel when they arrived at your bar? They were going to see you in the bar, and you were going to see them. I'm going to say, ah, boy, guy, you're going to see them. As for me, I just say, well, they have arrived. The other boys tell me, who's the guy, Jongolas? They are inside the bar. The man guy in your name, because if you like man, I can't. Man, they ah, Jongolas in your name, you're bad, bad. No, the boy in your name, ah, can't them your name. So the boys will say, well, let's go and drink. That's it. Why would the Why would the boys come and drink? Look at boys in your name. You know, you open up the kaybi. They open up the floodgates to drinking. Nous avons des halis. Nous sommes les ones avec le monde. Nous avons des halis. Nous avons des halis. Nous avons des halis. Et si vous avez des drinkers, si vous avez des halis, qui a des halis, et chaque fois qu'il vient, il vous offre. Donc quand il vient, vous vous êtes très proche de lui. Donc ils vous offrent de l'alcool à qui que ce soit à la bar. Je vous remercie de vous dire que vous êtes dans la bar, et vous avez des halis. Oui. Vous avez des halis. Si vous avez un rapport avec eux, c'est ça. Et... Where would they get this money from? I think it's their father that gave it to them. Yeah, would they? Would you normally see them with lots of money? Well, the money is not. I never saw because they had many pockets. And if I wanted to check their pockets, I'm but, sure they But will. when they take out money to pay. You will see it, packet beneath. Why bunyo gene di fei? Then they give packet the halisi. Yes. Then I you count and you fei. Take it out, count, and pay. And if they are to spare you some, they will spare you. Where they lavish with money? Nah nyom then labi run ti halisi bi. Then tabe one. Then ma? Then tabe one then chini nyom jo he halisi bi. Then they may halisi mom lege 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 mne la feel may la jage any hundred dollars to two hundred. They used to spare money. Once in a while. Oh yeah, yes. Sometimes when they feel you, they can give you something worth the cost of a lunch, hundred dollars. Sometimes I'll come and just call out and tell them that I'm hungry, and they will give me something. And who is Bayro? Bayro. Okay. Uh, in your interaction with them. Did you come to learn how or by whom you got shot? I was told that I was a kid with my father. Yes. Kindly tell us and quickly please. One day they came to the car wash. They came to our bar. And 
And they said the place was lo lonely. And they And that they were going to the ocean bar. They made ocean bar. After they went to the ocean bar. Nekafa. And they were there. I left our bar. Them ocean bar. And went to the ocean bar. When I arrived and I was going in, Sanamanya Munema Gore. Sanamanya called out to me, Gore. Bemunemina. What are you up to? <laughs> what are you going oh, to sorry, drink? Are you, oh, okay, sorry, I missed that. What are you going to drink? Nan. What are you going to drink? I said to him, Whatever I get. He said to me, No, you are drinking Guinness. Gareko, wow. I said to him, Bring it on. No. And then? He gave me Guinness. I was drinking. No, Abaji greeted me and said, Gore. You never sleep. You never sleep. You never sleep. You never sleep. Also, buddy. Manako, yes, Munuma Nello. Sorry, sorry. Munuma Horosa, buddy, you do it Nello. He said to me, Look at your body. You never sleep. Cut your eyes. You don't sleep. Manako, I want to more than Nello. Put it low. I said, Well, I never sleep. There was one boy that was with them, they called Musa Jabi Gasama. Mustafa Jabi Gasama. Yeah. Electrician, the wiring up there, wiring building. He was an electrician. He was living in Talinding. When I had the accident, the gun shot be. That gun He was aware of it. So Buma Gisia see Bir Babi for no. So when he saw me inside the bar, Bir Ozan Ba Mune. Dead man walking. Inside Ocean Bar, he said, Dead man walking. And I go, eh, hey, Mustafa, don't call that name to me. Mustafa, I'm not going to call you. Don't call me by that name. He said, I will call you by that name. Sanamanya asked him, Who is dead man walking? I go, Membe Koma. He said to him, the one behind you. He said, Gore. Sanamanyan said that. How come? Sanamanyan said to me, how come? Mustafa told him they shoot him with AK-47. Mustafa neko kide den kodjama fetel binyowa AK-47. From Andal Day. The one that he was with died. Sanamanyan said, ah, Luluban Adla. Sanamanyan said, which year was that? Neko 2001. I told him 2001. First February, Friday in the morning. First February, Friday in the morning. After training the junglers. He said, after training the junglers. You are aware. You are aware. You are ML Tamba. And ML Tamba. Send boss. And their boss. You are on duty that day. They were the ones on duty that day. You are the ones on duty that day. He said to me, this man you see sitting here, he, this, this is ML Tamba. But now he has uh, left work. For them on Europe. He had gone to Europe. Ah. But did he tell you, apart from the fact that ML Tamba and Oya and their boss were on duty that day, mm -hmm. did he tell you that they did? Ganau lim lawa na ML Tamba ak Oya ak Sen Boss nyone kon duty bes bobu na wahna la lenen Lolo mo ne ma ki mo la jam ni ni ñu la jam That's what he said to me he said these people are the ones that shot you I will not lie to you gore Mo ne ma gore man duma la fenal ni ñu la jam So in a sense you saying he pointed out to ML Tamba as one of the people who shot you Yeah but that time wahna dafa joxoñ ML Tamba ne bokka na ci ñi nga xamne ñu la fetel Yeah Sibir Babi. Inside the bar. And then what happened next? So Siloma gets mang in Yaka. That was when I started sweating. No. Noah Baji knew Suma Bor. Noah Baji came close to me. And who is this Noah Baji? Noah Baji me. Jongolala? He was a jungler. And then what did Muha Baji say? Gore. He said to me, Gore. Is it true? Yes, I said, yes, it's true. I removed my shirt and he looked and he exclaimed, 
mu look emel tamba he looked at emel tamba mo no atole nyul bung and said to emel tamba you shot these people atole pa mane fa you were the ones that killed pa mane did they mention pa mane by name that to the name to the pa mane wow yes proceed emel tamba ko yes emel tamba said to him yes nyul mon sonna ko lo they they would not stop he said that the time that they were shooting at us we did not stop he refused to stop manako yen i said you fu ngeen nekkon where you were bu ñuy romba ci johnson bi when we were passing the junction lo taw why did you not stand on the highway te yene ngi amé fetel and you had guns ngeen dem laxat ci bir ñax bi you went and took cover inside the grasses when sana manjane waro me na ñul ko na he said to sana manjang at the time when these people were coming we hear the motorbike we heard the motorbike lo tax ñu nebu ci bir ñax bi that was why we hid inside the grasses to wait them to wait for them so bu ñu ñom ñu romba so when they came and passed mu ne mo waxna psst he said he hissed mu rakh man degguma pis I said I did not hear that hissing. Maluma dega moy bale fetal ngeen ubbi suñ kaw. That what I heard was the gunfire being opened on us. Sana manya mune ngko diamo bula. Sana manya said to me stop the talking. No. Was no, he was was he uh, lucid uh, was he uh, was what was his state of mind at that time Sana manya? Sana manya jamono bobu naka la melon. Sana manya ngwa hol he goes you know dama de gisi babi. He was looking at me. He usually because saw me at the always bar. Always he tell me you have lion eye. Mm-hmm. He usually tell me that you have lion eyes. Yeah, lolo ma dewa. Te mu che wala ti. That's that's what he tell me. Tell you me understand. that you are a man. So, mu ne ko I know. What was his state of mind as at the time he was intervening in this conversation? Was he drunk or not drunk? Bi mo waxa yow noon, la mu ngi ando na sago, mu ngi mandi won wala mandi wuton. Well, Well he was drinking cuz fofla len fekka ñu ngi naan but that was where i found them they were drinking and the musma wa wahid comme la ko drunk but he did not speak as someone who was drunk and what did he say lama akonya ko gore diamo bula said to me gore stop talking nuwa he can bring another thing nuwa leave this issue as uh, alone it can bring other things yeah let's talk about another issue we come to enjoy it nan na ngeen bayyi wax bi legi ñun dañ ño pour banexu faté len wax bi dal muna jur lenen you know after noa mu ne ma kay after that noa said to me come noa baji mu yob mo ci wonak bi noa baji took me to the ne ma let i know you are angry and he said to me i know you are angry na ya nga mer because of sana manyam la point emel tamba i know you are angry because sana manyam pointed at emel tamba but bul def dara but don't do anything don't take any action loma mune bul jeul ben action that's what he said to me don't take any action don't try to revenge also pour moi bu nga dem feyeku don't revenge because ki nekku di ligay nañay wax ak mom we will talk to him mu ñew apologize la come on apologize to him mo ñoko nuwa i said to him nuwa apologize the apology cannot be here because lu xew because what happened mom hamna he knew yalla hamna god knows ak ñu doon liggéeyal ham nañ and those he worked with they all know kudde yana ko yalla xare ajena hamna and the one that died may... man mi toxic ganna motor bike bi hamna he knew and even me who was sitting behind the motor bicycle i know en tegulen checkpoint you did not mount any check in here you didn't put any stones tegulen bant you didn't put any uh, stick or rod nako gumba wuma ma ngay hol sama bari ya nga leer nagn ne ko ma di nelaw ci ko motor bike i said to him i am not blind my eyes were clear i was seen when i was on the motor bike lu ngeen def def ngeen ko you have done and nobody can do anything about it 
Because when you shot at us, I was admitted at the hospital. In the evening, the speech Yajame gave, I was listening to it. That is to say that those that were shot at the border in Omorto, the one that died, they will bury him. The one that was injured, they will treat him. None of his soldiers will go to court. No case file. And there will be no case file. Did you hear Yajami say that? On television. Television or radio? Television. Television inside the GRTS. 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 So And I was also wounded in vain. So this is the way I will be until I die. I don't know. There was someone who was... Antundong. Antundong. He was six on the bed and I was the seventh. That was where they called us six and seven. He said to me, Gore, I do not know you. People are coming to visit. One day, tell Allah, Tene, Gorga. But you are a man. No. Munyal Rek. Just. You know, so how, when you now saw these junglers at the bar, you have been told that you were sought by Oya and, uh, and, Tamba. and Tamba. Did they think about Yaya Jame? Wow. Yes. Because Nua called me with Sanamanjang. Minema. And this. Nungla feel. You are our brother. We are all gambling. Yek nin submit it. Yo nyun but what I want is that you must have patience we will do the best to, to go to Yajame and uh, talk to him and to tell him that the Survivor, we have seen him. We have seen him and we have had a discussion with him. He needs help. Did they do that? Mike, big. Homa Sandambi, Homa Mendira, San Homa Sambu. Mike, the other Mike. I don't know his surname. Yep. Selimanyo, Rokam. Selimanyo, Hamene, Man Manlen, Jamon, Umorto. All of them. That was when they all came to know eventually that I was the one that was shot at at Umorto. So you tell me how it. So they befriended me. So I bring you a Kololi. Each time they came to Kololi, you know, you know, some affair. They will tell me that we are on pursuing your case. And they found a menu. But you must give her some time. Because you get busy this evening. Because we are busy these days. Ah, Malendi Hardy. I would say to them, well, I am waiting on you. Did anything eventually come out of it? Gana ginangda amnara luchi faheko. But hey, up till date. While you were working at uh, this place, did did you did you change your life? Banga lige ifofu na ndahiyo amnara lusope kuchisa dundin. At around 2010.
2010. Yes, I left that out. Because I had uh, a European friend who bought a vehicle for me. Vivo 200 Benz. Vivo 200 Benz, yes? Yeah. And told me to use it to help myself. Because I told the friend my problem. Him or her? Tubabi. Tubabi, Gorla, I'm again. Gorla. What's the man? David Thomas from Wales. When I told him my issue, he called David Thomas from Wales. I will help you. He said to me, I will help you. But you will leave the job, you go and help for yourself. The pay that you are getting from this job will not benefit you. Yeah, and you can die here. Because two drunkards can uh, get drunk and start a fight and you'll be stabbed to death here. So he, he returned home and when he came back, that was when he bought the vehicle for me. And, and what happened to that vehicle? I had the vehicle in 2010. 2011. In 2011. Was when Makisala came here on a visit the first day. I left the Senegambia on my way to Tone Table. Ozone. Tone Table where? Tone Table Bifan. Bursubi. Proceed. I was driving. It was in the night. At around what time? 11 12. Mm -hmm. 11 to 12, something like that. Mm -hmm. If I have not forgotten, between yeah. 11 and 12. So, my whole city, my whole now. I looked at my the mirror and I saw a vehicle was behind me. No. Can you describe the vehicle? It was black and long. It had bright, very bright lights. I'm going to do double signal. And it was on double signal. Did you hear anything? I didn't hear anything. Any sirens? I didn't also hear the siren. The vehicle that was behind me was the only one in that convoy. There was none after it also. And then what happened? Double signal when you tanka. When I saw the double signal, I slowed down by Yonbi. and I went off the road. So my tanky left side, where I said to watch it, but watch the TV. When the right side of the poly lamp of the town, the body side of Yonbi. When the right side of the vehicle, for some other vehicle, when they come up, stop the man get down. The side, right side of my vehicle, the right tire was off the road. Check him, motor ma. I was riding. I didn't stop, but I was riding slowly, and that was where the convoy uh, found me and knocked me from the back. You were already off the main road, correct? I left. I left. I left the road, and I was between the road and the electrical poles. Was the entirety of your vehicle off the road? It was off the road. Because the door pole. When it, the, the vehicle was hit from the back and it turned and hit the pole. For door pole, it hit that pole and another. saran. And that was when it. So much. No, it it lost control. Okay. Yeah. Cross road be. and went across the road Worry, LT, no, no. on the left hand side or still on the right Man, hand right, side? Right, right, madam, left hand. I was at the right hand side there. and I left from the right hand side onto the left hand side. It must have been hit very hard then. Very hard. In fact, the, the, the vehicle was uh, rumpled. Rumpled, so yeah. Yeah. 
Toki gannaaw bi ci gannaaw ci mal bi ba ci toki gannaaw bi ni la def from the back ara bris bi toj bu kanam be yep to the windshield windshield were all back and front broke so ci la taxaw ma wacha hang on was this an accident ndax li accident la won man de fo mo ne accident la bu fo mo ne li man ho man da ñuy daw auto bi dañu nan ku suñu yoon bi o dañu bëgga def lu def lu ñoy def rek bëgga seen lampe bi headlight bi mu ngi sumé mu ngi ci toké gannaaw bi i don't think this was an accident but i don't also know whether the people who were driving the vehicle were drunk or did not see their way because the headlights were directly on my back seat explain to us how you were hit we want to understand how the event unfolded waxal ñu naka la la moto bi dal mbokki dañ bëgg xam mbir yeb naka la demé because you said you were looking from the rear view mirror yeah ndax ya ngi wax ne ya ngi doon set ci setu bi di gis ci gannaaw wow yes please make us understand what happened wow dama wacce télé bi i went off the road just like this il a def just like this he has so li mo wacce télé mo auto bi ni la ñëwé fi la door so this is the highway and the vehicle came on the side and hit me from the side watching the tele bi mom mu door mom mu egar ci kaw tele bi it went off the road hit me from the side dem taxaw eltin bijilo and went and stood at the eltin in bijilo was it did he just came and pass or or did he jack at you and then get back got back on the road yes non la ko defé Yes that was how he did it. Did it feel like you were pushed off the road and then they went back on the road? Da fa melni ñom dañ jël sa moto bi pousse ko mu teggi yoon wi pare ñom ñu égaat ci kaw yoon wi. Mous moto bi tegg nekku ci kaw yoon wacc na yoon bi mu ci xéri xonk yi digënté xéri xonk yi ak télé bi poli lampe yam fa mu gap fof auto bu na fa hej. The, road, the vehicle was not on the road it was nga baye tele bi nga daw side ba wonu sa on the gravel path you have between the electrical poles and the highway it was is is on dafa wacce tele bi ñew dorma it went off the road and came and hit me and it went back on the road yeah did it appear that the driver had lost control or not melna ni ndax driver bi mom dafa sara non wala did on ci lolu la ko foge that was what i thought ante amna ko wacc ci auto bi but someone alighted from the vehicle ñew came ma je amam fa and said behold he is not dead ma ngi ragal i was afraid is the army mu ngi sol uniform was a soldier dressed in uniform no waxuma ma ngi tok ci bar bi ni rek i didn't speak i was just seated at the steering wheel ni nya ngi taxaw people were standing ci la demat mom du auto bi ju gaay dem so he left got into the vehicle and they went away did so they try to remove you from the car no gemon nañ sax pour gene la ci bir moto bi dafa ñëw rek mu ne ma ah dewul he came and said oh he's not dead he dewul wa sonu na he's not dead and they said to him no he's not dead but he's weak did they try to get you any medical assistance no gem nañ pour gem la dimbale facc wala dara no and uh, then they left non lañ demé bayi la fa and how soon after did the convoy arrive ganaaw lolu nak motoy teklandé won convoy bi kañ la exi convoy bu ma laré bé dama do top ko the convoy that hit me no vehicle was fofu behind following it fofu mang fa taxaw more than 30 minutes i was parked there for more than 30 minutes ngi taxaw fofu nonu i was mag nit ñi ñu ngi taxaw ñu ma ah bro li da nguru ya jamé la e bo nga jël sa auto bi yobuko garage bi mom doxu mo defarat i was there and the people said to me this is yajamé's government the best thing for you is to take your vehicle to the garage and repair it and, and what did you understand that to mean yol nak biñ la waxé lolu lo fok né lolu la tekki mais le no dama dem bourse bi police station i said to them no i am going to the bourse bi police station benen koto mo ngi fu fatna turam bi ko xamna ma sa mo né ma goré mo né ma yé mo né ma don against these people there was one bigger brother of mine who was there whose name I had forgotten but I know him he said to me goro don't test these people 
And did you eventually go to the Bruce Bay Police Station? Na Bruce Bay Police Station. I went to the Bruce Bay Police Station. And what came out of that? Over police man, I'm accident my convoy be. I told the police I have an accident with the convoy. Was it an accident or was it a hit and run job? Accident la wala dañ lam bokk rek na. Accident pour ñu mëna understand because the man guy ñoo ma tampon sen convoy be. I had to use accident for them to understand. I told them that they were I was hit by a convoy. And what did the police do? When I'm a fan, I'm going to go between Coco Oz and Bigelo. They asked me where, and I said, at the Coco Oz and Bigelo. And they said, well, that is the Ajame's people. They said, those are the Ajame's people. And they asked, is your, if, is your vehicle uh, destroyed? I said, it's very much After Mujel Kate, Bina Sumatur, Bila semua telefon nombor, mana mah nala oh. After he took a paper, took down my name and my telephone number and said that he will contact me. But hey, up till date, he never called. No, so lack all oyat. No. And did you get any compensation? No. I'm not being done by bunja jo. But hey, did you go back to the police station to find out what happened? Them na for the police mona wahal said esok saja dengko transfer. I went there. This is who I was talking to. Him. He was transferred. I asked for his name, but Amen they wouldn't nako. tell me. I asked for his name, but they were afraid to tell me. But I can recognize him. I asked for his name, but I asked for his name, but they were afraid to tell me. But I can recognize him. That's what you said, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you ne never got any compensation? No. Did you sustain any injuries during that accident? Accident, that, that bomb. hit and run job. Accident, bomb, bomb, heavy. Bini lembu kerek dal di daun dan bayi lah fanda. Amon gak ben ganyu ganyu buat cerita. Wow, semua jadi mohon neyuan. Yes. Forehead. Semua fi mohon neyuan. Was swollen. Did you go to the hospital? Demon galau pitar. Tangan dah mula tangan dah kosis suf dampoko. No, I went home, boiled some water, and put it on. Sand and I use it to massage the place. And what happened to the vehicle eventually? Motor bin aksa motor bin mom num muje. Motor bin awam hai semu kau dapat lima jaya kau forty thousand. I did not have any money to repair it, so I sold it for forty thousand. How much did you buy it for? Ni ada ngaco jendel on. One eighty. One eighty what? One hundred eighty thousand dollars. One eighty five la gaya wa jaya kau one hundred eighty thousand. For they, how long have you used it before you sell it? Only one year out of it now. Second year we move The vehicle ran for only one year. It got destroyed if, in the second year. If you were to sell it before the accident, how much would you sell it for? Muna ko jaya one fifty. I could have sold it for one fifty. And all you got from it was forty thousand. Forty thousand. Lol, the engine bilay jaya. That was, in fact, the engine which I sold. And the body? Obu kai scrap lang ko def. It was a scrap. So the vehicle totaled pretty much. Body be from now seven thousand la. The body I think was seven thousand. Only forty thousand. We make up forty forty seven thousand. Added onto the forty would make it forty seven thousand. How do you feel when that happens to you? Bila lo lo dale na kyo lo yek. Ne kule man kena regla dal. Buko dal na taxi drive we bari fiwa mene ya jame mule ntampon sen otobi ya halen. It didn't happen to me alone. There were, there were some that also were knocked by convoys and their vehicles were destroyed. Nyari taxi, Senegambia. It happened in Senegambia. Two taxis, they, they've been standing there, they are parked for a long time. There was traffic light fini. The other one at traffic light here. Kareva Avenue. At the Kareva Avenue. There was a turn table. The other one at the uh, turn table. And mange de gonsi souvenir. I used to hear in the, in the grave wine that there were some whose vehicles were being repaired. How did you feel when yours was not paid for? Bon nagu yo lo yek binga yege ne amna nyun fei te yo fei ingla. Madamat si Bursubi Police Station bi. I went back at the Bursubi Police Station. Melen, dama dega ne yaja ba mungi fei ne nyoto yo yum yaha. I told them. Dama nyo na fi report si fi ne Bursubi Police Station wale dama am accident koko ozon begin de koko ozon ag bijelo hotel umvoi ba ma tampon. I then send so we just want to use my telephone number Nema after I will call you but I call you I told them that I, I, I told them 
that I heard that people's, people whose vehicles were being hit by uh, Jamais convoys were being compensated. And that I came here and I told you that I had an accident between Coco Oson and Bejolo Hotel. And the SO that was here took down my name and telephone number to call me and I never got called. How do you feel that you've never been called and you never received any compensation? No, yek nak ne yo oin la be pare dampun la fe la dara. Bobo sila nyo, you know, because gis na sanamanjang wokoko. That was when I came and I told Sanamanjang. Manako lama am accident ak sa gay. Gay de wal convoy bi. But I had an accident with your people who were on a convoy. That was when Nyabale said to me, they should have killed you. He said, why don't leave the road? I said to him, were you the one who was driving the vehicle? He said, yes, I was the one who was driving the vehicle. He said, I was the one who was driving the vehicle. He said to me, I'm not your friend then. If I was the one driving and I saw you inside the vehicle, I will knock you until your vehicle will somersault. Then I said to him, then you are not my friend. He said, friend, sorry, friend Barbie. Well, he said friend and then he cursed the mother. Was he normal or was he drunk? I, I look him, you know, because he used to joke with me sometimes, you know. I look, I say, you are drunk. He, he returned the same word again, drunk, nangam. Wow. But this was not your last encounter with members of the Gambia security forces, was it? Security forces. Wow. Yes, there is one more. Someone is left. Jesus. Tell us about that. Jesus. Tell us about that. I borrowed my friend's scooter called Bakar Jame. He worked at Gambega. Madam Serekunda. I went to Serekunda. When I was coming home, I went through the market. Serekunda market, them si Jumaji, one of them Chokis town. Serekunda market towards the mosque on the route to Chokis town. This now pick up the house. He bought it Johnson after Jumaji, so he them bundum Chokis town. I saw a pickup parked by the Johnson when you are going to Churchistan around Bundum. So it's a lot of That was when I passed. I knew them. I was going. Lama aga Churchistan, Safedin, former Safedin, opposite Isan Serebi. Before I got to Churchistan at the former Safedin, opposite the filling station. That was where I was knocked by the pickup. Uh, was it an accident? I don't think it was an accident. I don't know what happened. Because that could not have been an accident. So I told you, you said, if I told you said to me that you had mounted a checkpoint and I came and refused to stop, failing to stop la. I could say that could be a failure to stop. But stop Uloma. But you did not stop me. I did not also see any police officer on the highway. When he knocked me, until I fell into the ditch, were you deliberately hit or was it an accidental hitting? That was deliberate. I don't know why he did it. I see no reason why he could say, or it could be said that that was the reason why he did so. Do you know who was in the pickup? Hamon got pickup bo muto bi kan mochi neko. Ensa baji zipo bo moko ronda wal. Ensa baji himself was the one driving. And who is this Ensa baji? Does he have another name? Ensa baji me. I'm na beden turbun ko hami. Jesus. Where is he now? Do you know? They said he's working again in government. Where in the government? 
fan la liggey ci ngour gi xamo ko de waye mang ko deggone i don't know but i heard it uh, where was he walking at the time he hit your vehicle yeah, non liggey c'est des conda station fan la don liggey c'est des conda station la nekkone xamo dañ ko promote xamo dañ ko promote won de xamo nda xamo dañ ko promote next to ig xamo next to lan on ko ma lan but but bu non liggey ak postul He was at the Serikonel police station. I, I'm not sure whether he was. What kind of a government officer was? Was one Jesus CID lago hamé won. I knew Jesus with the CID. On fan la tourné duga police, on fan la tourné ba duga ci lenen yo hamé ni hawma ko. I don't know how he maneuvered his way into the police or other things I don't know. With Mr S- Mr Sala CID is part of the police. Wa nga ñaari tour lañ. CID ci police bi la bokka. Wow. Yes. CID kay CID la police police la. CID is CID and police is police. Migration immigration. CID tam police la. Wow, ñom tamit ñu def investigation. Ñu lay def investigation comme so amé de la problème yi ñu amé len ko baña. So what happened after your scooter was hit? Lan mo xew ganaw sa bébé bu buñ ko tamponé. Bu ma tamponé dafa wacha. When he knocked me, he alighted. Fek mo fuma tada. Found me where I was lying down. Ma buga jog mo gene pustelem bi. I tried to get up and he removed his pistol. Go to my face bi. And he hit me on my face. Ma dan what? And I fell down. Did you sustain any injuries? Man nga ci ben ganyu ganyu. Yeah. Mo nga ni ba legi mag bi du moko musa fatte. Could you come uh, close to the commissioners and show them the mark? Could you show them? Show them all. Did you, and what kind of injury did you sustain? Ban fa sangi gañu gañu nga fa am. Da fa harot. It was torn. Oh, no. And it was deep. And then what happened after that? Gana hew gana bo. Mu eb ma ci pickup bi ak motorbike bi yeb bebe bi. It took me onto the pickup with my scooter. In the Masereconda police station. Took me to the Masereconda police station. Did he tell you why he was doing that? Don't tell me. Wala la na tax muy def lolu. Waxuma dara. You didn't tell me anything. Da ma indi gana Masereconda station. Gana station mu wacce pickup bi, wacce ma mu wacce bebe bi. Wachema hang off ma ci tanki bebe bi. He took me behind the police station. He brought down the scooter and then he handcuffed me onto the scooter. Fofu la fanan ci bi de ba set. And that was where I spent Could the whole night. Could you sit out there and demonstrate to us how you were handcuffed on the scooter? Man nga tok fu nga wax ñu naka lañ la ciene ci bebe bi. This is his I sat down like this. This is the tire of the scooter. Hang off me. That was where you put the handcuff. Hang off me. And the hand handcuff cuffed me. Mon moy will sleep there. And said to me you will sleep there. For for laugh and baba said. And that was where I spent the night till the morning. Did he tell you why? Wax na la lu tax mu def lolu. For for la ma bay dal mu dem yonam. That was where he left me and went away. Did he tell you why he was doing that? Wax ma ci dara. He told me nothing. Man dama fo ngay dal ki dal dafa def lu ko neex rek. I thought this guy was just doing what he liked. Were you taken inside the station to be processed? Duga nañ la ci bir police station bi pour binda sa mbir. Mais la dugu ma ci bir gannaaw police station bi fu ñuy park auto yeek ray da yu am accident ni fofu lama park man. I told you I did not go inside the police station. I was left where they used to park vehicles and the motorcycles that were involved in accidents. You 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 said uh that um uh, you you had a cut, a very deep cut. Were you bleeding? Yeah. All my but my clothes were All my, all my clothes fla fla nelaw ba suba my clothes were were you taken to hospital were you were your were your wounds attended to sa gañu yoyu ndax topato nañ ko suba ci la gis mustafa gay from jarasoma is a immigration 
in the morning, it was when I saw Mustafa Gay, an immigration officer from Jarasongo. He lives there, I think. When he opened his door to his uh, room and saw me, I talk because good thing don't display, man don't you who? Because in the night I was um, screaming. Because Munuma theatre was correct. Because I was not I was not able to lie yeah. properly because the place was tight up to now. Because The mark is here and I'm unable to. So Mustafa Munema, ah, Musa, look here, boy. Mustafa said to me, Musa, what happened? When I saw why you Munuma there, there was a good thing. ma. I said to him, it was your man who knocked me down yesterday, destroyed someone's scooter which I had borrowed, and then hit me with a pistol here, and then brought me here. So sila dugo si bir station bi mom. That was when he got inside the station. We have policy. And spoke with the police. Wana mbo kisuma. While, you know, since Jara Soma. And told them that this is my friend since oh, Jara Soma. And they said to him, well, he was brought by, down by uh, Jesus and he has told us nothing. He was the one who brought him and packed him there. Well, except if we called him. When they called him, he said to them, release him to go. No, but sir, this is, is wound. They say to him, sir, but this is a wound. He's wounded. No. Okay, no one officer you the clinic. He said, well then let one officer take him to the second clinic. What I am telling you is what happened. He took me to the second clinic. They did not stitch it. They just cleaned it, removed the blood. Last taco. And they put a plaster over it. They gave me paracetamol. They brought me back to the station. And they said to me, you can go home. Pick up your scooter and go home. I said to them, a scooter, this is someone else's property. I, I borrowed this is someone else's property. I borrowed it. The police officer said to me, do you not desire peace? Go home. That was when I picked up the scooter. Took it back to the owner. Bakar Jame. Bakar Jame. Yes. Said to me, you have destroyed all of my, my scooter. And I said to him, yes. He asked, who did this to you? I said to him, Jesus. He said to me, Ensa Baji. Yes. I said, yes. Did he knock you down? I said, yes. Zero. I said, yes, he knocked me for nothing. And I don't know what I have done to him. But all I was even in possession of something which Tell us government. the truth, Mr. Witness. Were you a drug dealer? No. Why are you digging up? 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 Why you digging up? Why are 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 were you associated with any drug dealing at the time? Well, the countries are countries. And there are many persons. For them, jacket time mung fa, you know. And as for cannabis, wherever you went, man da made two, man ne ko da made jai, man da made two. I smoke. Wherever you went, there are many sellers. It's not that I sold. That's why I know them. Any sellers I know to me, I go and buy and I smoke. I smoke, I don't sell. So if I know a seller, I will go and buy and smoke. They caught me. I paid 300. I paid 300. They caught me. I paid 5,000. I paid 5,000. Here in Senegal. Wow. Yes. So, so would it be correct to say that Jesus may have identified you as maybe one of the dealers? Even if he took me to be one, God knows that he has never caught me before. But the police had caught you before on two separate occasions. No, man, No, it's a drug squad who usually caught me. And they police officers too? Police? No. Police never caught me. 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 Police
Je me suis dit que je 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 suis dit How do you feel when Jesus treated you in such a manner? I was angry with him. I was not having the power to fight him. And I could do nothing about it. Because he worked in the government. But he was a police station by Masika now station B. And secondly, he took me to the station, behind the police station, handcuffed me on my own scooter, and the police officer saw it, saw that. Mr. Chair, I would want to leave it at that. I hand over the witness to you for further questioning. Thank you, Mr. Sala. Jerejef, Mr. Sala, I am going to give you the commission. I am going to give you the commission. Thank you very much, my counsel, and thank you, Mr. Sala, for your testimony. Uh, to be shot with an AKA rifle and uh, twice involved in uh, automobile hitting your car and yourself, you are quite a survivor. Pour Jamla Fetel, Akayene Ningham Neb, Mola Tampong, Ila Tampong, Aksamutu, Tampong Lai, Ak Bebe, Bon Yodal, Yala Mola Musal. Commissioners, if you have any questions to raise. Please indicate. Commissioner Kaur, you have the floor, please. Commissioner Kamola, I like to Thank you, Chairman. Jerejef Chairman. Mr. Salaman, I have a question. I have only one question, Mr. Salo. I'm sorry for what happened to you. Before that, I want to say sorry for what happened to you. I want to say sorry for what happened to you. Bodi paman ebi fufleng ko baywa nda deng deng ko jeli fufuno buni la fadon jeli nda jo neng ko family family em nda jo neng ko. What I want to ask you is the body of paman. Did they bring it along when they were taking you, or or did they give it to their their to his family? Man ak paman enyo anda ba banjul. I came with his body up to banjul. Ba emergency room. Up to the emergency room. Ma hipe man ko gis mungita da. When, when I recovered, I saw him being covered. Uh, thank you. Um, um, Imam Jago, the floor, please. Monday, the family will have a I want to ask you something. When you said you had gone to the Marabu, you had to go to the Marabu. You had to go to the Marabu. You had to go to the Marabu. You had this encounter with the junglers. You had to go to the Marabu. You had to go to the Marabu. In all of that time and all the hardships you endured, you had to go to the Marabu. You had to go to the Marabu. You had to go to the Marabu. Why did you not name that Marabu as the person that you had gone to and that you were not a drug dealer? That is what surprises me. Wow. Yes. Bobu. That one. What na ko guy said Bobu suma suma statement mo binda. I told them that on my statement which I wrote. Quarters. Si kau. At the quarters upstairs. File bun ubi. Pour man. The file that was opened for me, is my statement. which contained my statement, I wrote that, that I did not go with Pamane to Kazamas. Kazamas. I went there alone to Kazamas. To follow my Pamane Feka. And that was where Pamane met me my, my leave. and gave me a lift. Dega. True talk. Thank you. Imam C. So how are you? Man, lima lai lajmoi. Gai linye binjoni ufu wudenan. 
What I want to ask you is that these people, when they came there to drink, do the person that you worked for, did they ever had any issues with him with regards to payment? They never had a debt. Secondly, when they told you that this guy was the one that shot you, uh, did he return so that you could see him again, or was that the last time you saw him? I see each other with these people up till 2016. I don't see them, I will call them. Or they will call me asking how is Kololi? How is cow wash? How is this or that? I have to go to the house. 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 The one that shot you, did you see him again? Or was it the last time you, see, you saw him? Mom Emel Tamba. That Emel Tamba, I saw him in traffic more than three, on, three, on, on more than three occasions. Because he has a house in Bursubi. Phase two. In phase two. I went up to his house. My, myself, Sanam Manjang, and the others. He had a wedding ceremony and he invited all of us. Do you have a wife? I cannot have a wife. Thank you. Uh, thank you, um, Commissioner Bojang. You have the floor. I want to speak in the Mandinka language. I want to make you aware of this that. Musa man so se lai laka. Daman la buga hamal ne. Hamal la fru. The cops of Pamane. Niwi Pamane. Badi moli atali. The relatives took it. Mboka ijel nengo. They took it to Burfoot. That was where we buried him. That is true. You know, you we are not aware of that. That is why I'm informing you that we took him and buried him in Brofoot. Because we are not aware That is true, yes. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, perhaps before you close the session, uh, an interesting issue came up arising out of the question that was asked by Imam C. I just want the witness to clarify whether there is a direct relationship between any one of his injuries and his inability to have a wife, uh, his inability to get married. Chairman, dafu am balanga teach dafu am lo am solo lo hamne ibam si lache na kofi mota mabuga ko lache nda ganyu ganyu yiko dalip mo waralbe muta am jabar. Witness, can you respond to that uh, question, please? Nda hamunga ton tu lache bobo. Wow, because Jamal Umay am suma katan, dega. Yes, because when I had my strength fully, no kon Jamal Umay mangko ame won time mangko ame suma domi ak suma ker. If I had a, a wife at that time, at this time I would have had my children at home. And eh, buma ame problem yini. But when I got these problems, muntu ma ame suma bopa. I was not in control of myself anymore. Suma ngora dem uti jabar. If I am to look for a wife, where am I going to take her to? She cannot sleep in a single room without lightning. And that place is being uh, given to you, borrowed to or lent it lent to you. And, and what I earn in a day is small. Today I may earn a hundred. The next day I may earn fifty. When I had the taxi to, I wanted to marry, but I thought that the money I had, if I should invest that to get a wife, 
and the vehicle broke down dañ may ré they will laugh at me jaaha bi munna wax ne waaw mo dama ko nda and the lady may even think that i had tricked her in in essence your inability to marry a wife is as a result of your poverty and not your physical inability ah bon dal dafa melni li la tere am jabar moy sa new ci sa kom kom waye nekku ne dal ci sa walu jema dal nga munu ta sey wow yes thank you for answering the time of question comes in again the wonderful please go ahead Hello assalamu alaikum musa wa alaikum assalam um xamne am nga metit lol we know pedal ak hew yu bari yu la dal you have uh, you have so much pain the gunshot and uh, all the other things that happened to you ne hot way ñu ngi ñaan pour nga muñ is uh, difficult but we employ you to bear man ñaari yep la bu ga laaj There are two things I want to inquire about. Jel ben bi pa mane bi nyung ko tu mal ne dapay dapay dem jeli drug kasamas de ko indi gambe di jai nda bes bobo yore on na sag bo ham ne bo hamu chibir lup chineka wa yamun na la jo helal ne i amon na drug nyu bindon anda di dem. First off. I want you to respond to the allegation that has been levied on uh, Pamane as been a, a drug dealer on that day that bag that he had do you know what was there or sorry. did you see any bag that day which will make you think that perhaps there was something there or drugs in the bag wow deganala bobu nonu yes i heard you was ma gaay waxe na ñu ne ma jaay kati tayla it was at the headquarters when they told me that he was a drug pusher men len ana tay bi i asked for the drugs ñu ne ma bu la ci lolu and they said to me do not ask for that ana ko ankay eb na sac of course he had a bag sac bu sac bu comme sac adidas yoy non la those adidas adidas bags okay one is gonna buy bag That was the one behind my land sack bus mo gise moto bike i said to them if i saw the bag na land sack bi la i would identify it but do mo na wax ne dafa ep tay but i cannot say that he had suma tay bi drugs suma sack bo amene mo ngeen ko indi mo xamne ne sack bi mo ne ko ci ko moto bike bi i cannot say that he had drugs na ko ben laaj ami ñom jonglers ñu suut laaj la ana bag bi gone ask the junglers and the army who shot him do mo nangul wax ne nak de suma ko I will not accept him something which I did not see. So many nyari le buntu laj bi moy um netal kat li ci opa de anda camera. Moy mem buy dem ci serigne sax parce que hamout fan lay am contract wala he wal. My second question is with regards a photographer. Nda ya ngi won ak sa camera bu fekke ya ngi won sa camera lan moko jot after buñ la bu la fetale wala bu ñoy jël sa bagage nda andu lon en camera dama amon oh sorry a photographer usually goes dama amon a studio amna burfoot i had a studio in burfoot and bakoda and in brikamaba how they train youth see i used to train the youth how to snap how to side half and full when they train i used to train them so so madam ka ma dama dey baye suma camera bi bobu is my camera okay so when i mess on camera ci studio bi okay accent film okay when i go to customers i used to leave my camera behind so andu lo na camera andu man on camera okay mo ci studio bi jere je jere je i don't know if the juju man would have allowed you to photograph him or not but uh, thank you so much uh, mr sala for your testimony i'm sorry you really had to Uh, enjoy so much to conclude your testimony uh, if you have any remarks to make please proceed to do so now mr sal ñu ngay muti lu bu baax li nga xamne yep mo la dal way legi nak su fekke na am nga cadeau yu mujje yo bu ga garal rek mën nga ko wax wa cadeau yi ñom ñu ñaan rek the statement is that uh, we, we should just pray because this is our country 
li hewon fi bu lu passé what happened there in the past yalla bu musa hewati may god make it not to happen again man nak dama ko reccu as for me i regret it gos bu ñom sana manje bu ma degal sen problème bi because when i had the problem of sanja sana manje and others man suma hamadu ma ham ñi i said if i had known i wouldn't have known these people wa deug deug yalla truly I lived with them. They used to send me on errands. And where they ended is different. This is our country. The government, those who work for the government, let them be careful. All of us are one. Hanya yang si drug squad, atau yang si polis, atau yang si militer, atau yang si immigration. You are in the drug squad, the police, the army. I'm a family. You have a family. Koi tu? The one that the one that smokes. Or koi nan? Or one that drinks. Sunya mana limun dan neka bena? If they know that this cannot be one, new buyers and hell nyom. Let them be careful themselves. Because the work that they do, the way I see it, it's not work. You will not arrest someone for one joint and charge the person 300. And you buy credits and put megabytes into your phone instantly. And then you take the joint and give it back to the man. That is not work. If they are to work, let it work based on law. Don't make the, uh, the bring suffering on only human beings. Take the, someone's money and let him go empty-handed. You do not know whether that was the last thing he had on him or that is the lunch money for three days. You take that money from him Return his joint back to him. Then I go next time you take care. And then tell him to be careful the next time. Lord do what? That is not the thing. So you ligay, then you ligay. If we are to work, we must work. You buy chahan and stop the joking. Lord, but time we get off it. Up till date, that is existing here. Then you want to joke? We must stand up. You legalize and legalize. Oh, you nyaka legalize. Legalize. Wanda problem berani sudah kami dah komisioner. But there are many problems here in the country, komisioner. Kunci ada dalam stesen. Anyone they catch, you will not go to the station. Lakon garek jauh yang ada garek bayar nanti lah. You will take over, pay bribe, and you are gone. Lulus nere dem sudah kami fee. If that is to persist in the country. Sudah bayaga. If it goes for a long time. You meet the one ma. The one that caught me. Jil halisi man. And took the money from me. So nyuwati. If you come back. If you are not careful, we may end up killing each other. Because you are not working for the government. You are working for your pocket. If you want, when I leave this place, you can target me. Wow. Yes. Or oh, I stop smoking. Or oh, they themselves. They used to give out uh, cannabis to be sold. When they Seize a lot of uh, a lot a big quality of cannabis. They will bring it here in this colony and have so, it resold. So where is the law? We must do something about it. Wow. Yes. Military. The soldiers. They are the biggest drug pushers here. Since Yajame's time. Hundred kilo bojo nanyo hindi lako basakir. Any hundred kilo that you bought, they will transport it direct to your house. Wow. Yes. Drug squad yoko. The drug squad, we are aware of it. Sinko yake. And when they are aware of it, nyo search sakir. They will come and search your compound. Sinjo amedara. When they get something there, nila nila halis. They will also ask for a bribe. Nakalat ka bida mekanam. How can the country move forward? What do you say, Jok? We must do something about this. Wow. Yes. Dako bida ngko defar. This country, we must make it. Mogonya hako. It's better than we destroy. So, if it destroys, we would be the ones that destroy. So, if it is good, we are the ones that make it good. You are elders. We are behind you. I think we must sit down and have a discussion again on how to make this country great. What you used to attain in the past is what attains now. When you have money, you have peace.
Amolo Halis nak. You have no money. Danga duga sell two days, three days. You will get into the cell for two days and three days. Nga utkulai bail. And find someone to bail you. New bail la. And they will bail you. Papa danga fayad Halis. And then you'll pay money again. Lul mo fineka. That is what is here. Danga for again ne. We have to take it out out of this place. You do hold the gabi. And establish the truth. Can you buy embarrassment be? And stop the stop the embarrassment. Wow. Ola ampul nyan len. That's what I have to. Yanu yala me jamu. May God grant us peace. Yanu fi yala yagal. May God put you here for a long time. Uta me na kesenga na yanu fi yala yagal. Those of us who are also behind you, may God also long long make our days long. You need to acquire and you be able to stop this May God make those of us who drink and smoke to be able to change our ways. Yala na mo change do me adama. It's God that changes a human being. Do wa? It's not talking. Danga wa ba suba. Koko lumi te da mom mom. You da koko def. You talk here up to tomorrow. Kende mo mo gya lala. What he does, he will. Luma def rechuna ko. Whatever I did, I regret. Dama ne talk mama mama mer. Because I used to sit down and get angry. Do ma haluma mer lo. And I don't even know what makes me angry. Ma hold suma bopa. And I re-examine myself. Mumro mi angi ligai. My colleagues are working. I am not able to work. I have no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not studying English. It's only God's gift. That is why I'm able to understand. Yeah. When you speak, I can understand. I, I studied, studied the Quran. The day I, I drank alcohol, I cried. I regret. I regretted. In my in Pakali. Gorgel, Gorgel, who are you? So, Lord, we have many. We have Bapa. Man, then I was drunk. You came for two hours. I got drunk in Bakau, and I was beaten until I nearly died. Many be. And I went home. So, Gorgel, don't go hard at that. I thought about all those things. That these are things I did to other people. Haram on Sangara. I used to. Haram too. Condemn drinking and smoking. I'm not doing Kololi. But when I got to Kololi. For many Moses la, neka tuma Musa. It's like I was Moses. I was no longer Musa. Yeah. Yana ma yala jegal. May God forgive me. Yes. Mulo bangko nyansi yala. I pray that to God. I regret it. Dama de mer regmo dugo silol nono. I get angry and I involve myself in the dosis. Dama de tok mahalat suma bopa. I used to think about myself. Forty six years. Forty six years. Mulo jabar. You have no wife. Mulo dom. You have no child. Alal bunga amon yahal nanya ko. The little wealth you have was destroyed. You were damaged. Tegla bena palas. You were put in one place. Demulo fen joho nyola dara. You've gone nowhere. You are not doing anything. Fale wunda. Nobody worries cares about you up till date. Victim center. From there banyo TRRC. Victim center. From there I came to TRRC. Mora banyo fee. That is why I came here. Mulo na toksuma kere dimun. I could have sat in my house and just. Beer and do everything in God. The, what used to hurt me, I'm the only one that knows it. When I lie down this hand in the night, the, the hand used to be numb. It used to be numb. You can even push it anyhow. Yeah. Unless on the right side. Except if I lay down on the right hand side. Oh, I lie on my back. If I lie on this hand, it used to get numb. Yeah. I want to plead to you for your assistance. If you could extend that to me so that I could have a treatment and regain my health, I will. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Musa Saleh, for your testimony. We will take a one hour and five minutes break and come back at three o'clock. Actually, you wanted them to. Yes, perhaps just one last thing. Yes. Uh, the witness has testified to endemic corruption in both the police and the drug squad. Uh, from his testimony, he has suggested that he may be targeted. Uh, this is just to warn those in these forces, or anybody for that matter, uh, to be alive to the fact that the TRRC is watching uh, and that uh, we're paying close attention to the witness and his environment. Uh, nobody should take the law in their own hands, and nobody should do anything to the witness. Uh, we are paying attention. Should anything happen, rest assured that the commission would take action and they would be drastic. The commission is watching. So just be warned. Thank you. Uh, 
da fi wax ay cadeau yo xamne dafa melni werna ñi nga xamne ñoo nak drug squad bi ak ci police bi ay mbir njublang yo xamne ñu ko def te waxna fi ne muna am sax su genné di nañ dal ci kom wala ñu def ko dara légui nak ñu ngé dénku ñi nga xamne ñoo nek ci biti leen xamne ñun wa ti RRC ñu ngi tek suñu bot ci kaw CD bi bu kèn jël loi bi def ko ci sa loxo bop bu ko dara jot lu wara faxé ko ci cadeau yi nga xamne mom la fi wax ni tay lo lañ bëgg dénku ñi nga xamne yépp ñoy top up ti RRC tay good observation council uh, thank you all very much and we resume at 3:00 meeting is adjourned